Hey guys, today Bill and I are going to go through the electrical system, uh, kind of walk you through the electrical system on the boat, what's going on there, and then we've got this new inverter that's a little smaller than uh, the existing inverter that's going to be used to charge uh, some of those utilities that we want to be more consistent uh, and not draw, that don't draw too much power say. We can feed our Starlink from that, maybe the TV without having to turn on the 3000 watt inverter. This is a nice little 250, it would be much more efficient. We can take a quick peek at the 3000 watt inverter. Uh, that's the big guy, it has a fair amount of power draw, like idle power draw, even if it's not outputting much power. Uh, so we don't want to have to turn that on for small loads. Mostly we use that for charging actually, when we kick the generator on, that is also a charger for the batteries. Alternate. Here's the breaker panel, All right. uh, two DC columns, one AC column. We're going to try to tap into this currently unused breaker and um, pull one of the lines off of these outlets. These are the AC outlets that come off the big inverter, uh, powers about maybe six outlets throughout the boat. We want to steal uh, one or two outlets from that so that we have a couple outlets that we know are connected to the small inverter. If you pull this baby down, right, it has some nice little wires that hold it in position there. Right, you can see the DC, two DC circuits, and the AC circuit. Um, we actually need to install a, a clear panel over that for um, uh, safety reasons at some point. Uh, so, the third one down, this guy right here, is the DC 30 amp breaker. You can actually says 30 amps mm -hmm. way in there, and. We traced that using our trusty multimeter over to a lot of these wires are all come down to big big bus bars in here or uh, breakouts. So you can kind of look at the one on the left and then on the right is another one. And there's actually DC and AC breakouts inside there. The one we're looking for is this one that currently is not connected to something. So I saw that. We sort of owned that out and said, oh yeah, that, that's it, that's the guy. I can turn that breaker on and off and see voltage come to this, and I can uh, ohm out from this circuit to there. So what we're gonna do is hook a 12 volt wire from here, we'll route it down through here, around here, and there's a hole right back there. We'll go through that hole, down inside here, and hopefully mount this uh, inverter right out here, and we can drill just a couple little holes in to get those wires in. So that's the power that goes into the inverter. Then coming out of the inverter, uh, currently the big inverter powers everything off of this breaker right here. So all of the outlets in the boat come off of this singular uh, 20 amp guy, um, which I think includes the uh, some big guys, like the uh, microwave oven is off of that. So it's a lot of circuitry actually off of that one thing. The black lines are also broken out. I think they're all over here. And we're going to have to figure out which one of these incoming black lines are the power outlets that we're trying to uh, steal. All right. Um, so this stuff is AC circuitry where black is positive, white is ground, versus the DC circuitry where red is positive and black is ground, just to keep it confusing. It's really not a black breakout over here, so it's got to be one of the ones over here. It's not these big gigantic monster ones. I can almost guarantee it that the earth part is this right here. And those are probably the three right there. One, two, three. I think are like they should be jumped together, kind of like you see these guys with that little jumper across there. And I don't quite see that. Yeah, so these ones these ones are connected together, right. um, but these ones aren't. They're separated. Supposedly you can connect this end to one end of the wire you're trying to trace and then this goes uh, you can follow this to the wall and it's supposed to be able to sense when you're near it like mm -hmm. is it oh yeah that's loud see it doesn't yeah. work. <laughs> So let's kill the inverter and the starling so we don't electrocute ourselves okay, so all outlets are off Starlink is off, or inverters off, inverters off, outlets are off. Yeah, good way to test if it's live is just touch it all. Don't do that unless you're absolutely sure. Plug this wire in, we plug this cable in here, and this cable has loose ends. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're plugging those loose ends into this right. Understanding this that if that was hot, this would be really dangerous, yeah. but that's dead. Um, so again, because it's AC, the uh, white is actually the ground wire. The 
black is the hot lead. We're trying to find out where that hot lead goes. Mm -hmm. So leave that there. And that should be transmitting a signal now through the, um, through there. Through that yeah. thing. So we, we grab this tester. We can test it out. Oops. Right, you should, for following from there, it should be loud, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we can see it is getting, it is definitely louder there. And it gets quieter and quieter. It probably goes down towards your feet. Yeah, it definitely is getting louder there. Might be going to there, up and down. Yeah, in fact, we can see right here. I mean, there's. Yeah, it could be. Uh, it could be one of these. The quarter was shining. There's a duo. Yeah, that seemed to really be the eye. We think we found the one. We think it's this one right here is quite loud. The others are quieter. So we're gonna try to disconnect that, turn the uh, the breaker on, and see if we still get power to the outlet. And so, so what's the issue? So all these outlets have wires coming in. Yeah. So I should see at least like one, two, three, four black wires coming in here from the different outlets. And then I should, all of those black wires have to somehow connect to this one wire. Yeah. So somewhere I should see something that's like four wires connected to one. Uh, whereas typically you see these little these stoppers there. Yeah. That's the normal way to sort of connect them to say like, I want this one wire to come in. And basically this singular white wire is feeding energy to like all four of them. All the outlets. Uh, where do they break apart? The water maker or something. Well, so the one that we pointed at, there are actually two cords plugged into each side there. I guess you're right. You're right. actually you got a good point. Okay, so that's actually an excellent point. Yeah, this bigger wire here probably is the one right here coming off. And then you've got one, two, three guys connected to it. So that would mm -hmm. be enough for three outlets. So what's gonna happen is if we switch that thing, we might not switch that out, let alone. We might be switching multiple. We might be switching two or three, which we don't want. So, okay, so this... Let's test it real quick. I think, I think you're right on the... Yeah, it's definitely connected. Yeah. I mean, we're... That one's connected, too? I mean, yeah, I'm definitely picking up some signal here. Oh, here, very strongly. Oh, wow. So there's really daisy chains all over the place. Was yeah. the one back in your cabin is the same circuit as that one. Yeah, we're just realizing that this is also connected to the same circuit as is as is possibly this TV one. It's a little bit weaker, but probably still is connected. But this one is for sure is connected. Mm -hmm. And that we're gonna stop using this. We're gonna start like A B testing uh, different wires, seeing uh, if we unplug one, uh, see which outlets turn off. Inverter. Okay, inverter's on. Wait a minute. Okay, 119 volts out of the inverter. This stuff is hot right now. Does it touch this stuff? Yeah. I could get electrocuted. Don't touch it. Um, got two of the three wires disconnected. I'm going to flip on the breaker on one. So right now, the microwave did not come on. Okay, so dead. And yeah, no power there. Dead. Dead. Okay, we wow. have power. Okay, yeah, so circuit. these two are in the same circuit, but this one is definitely separate. Because we were, yeah. Dead. And then this one is going to be dead, too. Dead. It would actually be really easy if we wanted to just turn on the ones in the, like, living area here. Yeah. If you wanted just the TV and just these two outlets, if yeah, you could... Move the router. Yeah, if you move the, if you move the router over there, that which would actually be... Like to do good. Which is what you want to do anyways. Yeah. And good. then everything else is off the main inverter. Yeah. You have these couple outlets in the, in the living room and everything else is off, which makes a lot of sense. It does. And then it's very clear, okay, those four outlets are on on the second inverter. It is good. You can charge your stuff on that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do like that. Um, except then you'd have to run that wire and brings that job into it. Yeah. The, so it's, it's a cost benefit. Yeah. You get some benefits and some downsides. This is the power for the router for the Starlink. Um, the dish is up top um, at the aft. 
but uh, this we were hoping to initially turn on so we could have the Starlink on and just this outlet. This is chained to everything else though, so that's not gonna fly. Um, what we could potentially do is move the router to the center of the boat um, where those two outlets are separate. So those are on different, uh, those are not on the same network of, of switches. So we move it there, that also gives a more central, um, central Wi-Fi to the rest of the boat. So as they're sleeping in the front of the boat, they would, um, they would actually get better Wi-Fi up there anyways. Um, you might get slightly worse the, at the rear here, but um, it shouldn't be too bad. It's, it seems to be a pretty good router overall. Uh, but the problem is this is actually a really big, long and difficult cable to route. Um, well, actually specifically what's coming from the dish. Uh, so we have to figure out how to get that over to the living room. So we would have to figure out how to get all this cable uh, and some rather big plugs out into the living room, which A, we're, we have three wires, A, B, and C. Uh, we're establishing A is connected to those two because um, they were the only ones that turned on when A was connected. Right, you can see right now the microwave came from And now A. with B, B is on, the microwave mm -hmm. is on. The uh, microwave is B. We're gonna assume probably a lot of these other ones are on too. Right. Yeah, that's on. Yeah, All the galley ones are B. Uh, try this one. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm really curious what the third one is. Ah, okay, that one's not. Yeah, the after bed is B. But the workbench is C. If you do the router from the workbench and you had, you had this as well, and then you could have the TV, the router over in the aft cabin. TV would be on, so you could have those two on, and then everything basically yeah. would be just like the port side. Port side would be on, except for your uh, port cabin, uh, and then starboard side, everything would be right. on the main inverter. All we'd have to do is a little bit of wire juggling back here just to temporarily get the, the Starlink router over to the workbench. Yeah. And, yeah, and that's not too hard. No, that's pretty um, easy. That could even be I mean, a permanent position for it, actually. It could nicely be mounted on the wall right yeah. here. And I know I can get... These outlets uh, in the, the living areas, uh, with the TV most especially, those are on outlet A. Uh, and then everything else here on the port side is also A. So this outlet uh, in the head, the bathroom. Uh, and then the important one for us is this workbench. So this workbench right now um, gets used if there's anything that needs to be fixed. But the reason that's helpful is because the Starlink comes right through here. So we can take these cables, bring those over here, mount the router here, uh, and run it off that. And then this outlet uh, next to the bed would still be on the main inverter, um, along with everything else on the starboard side, which is the right side of the boat. Um, so everything in the, the kitchen or the galley um, would still be on the main inverter, especially the microwave, which takes a lot of power. Right, or uh, a little toaster oven is another great thing. Yeah, yeah. the toaster so oven as well. Any cooking devices are gonna have the big guy, TVs and internet stuff, yeah. and maybe some small tools, you can use the little guy. Yeah, Literally. and then, it, and even, even if you want to use, even if you have some tool that's gonna draw a lot of power, we'll you could ahead. temporarily unplug the Starlink, or you could run it from there, and you could still reach the workbench most of yeah, the time. Yeah, that's probably great, yeah, I can just run it from that. Is Figure out how to wire this and mount it. We believe we're going to mount it up underneath there. Uh, kind of want to make sure that if you're sitting here, it's not going to be in the way of your knees. But it's really not. Actually, way over here before it would even bother me. So I think that's a pretty good spot. All right. I can drill through this wall. I can bring a wire up mm -hmm. and get, easily get behind there for the 12-volt yeah. feed. We can bring it down through there. Uh huh. This floor comes out in here, the, the floor panel in that cubby. And then I can get the power out. I can get both to the earth ground for that connection. I can get to the 12 volt circuit we showed for these two connections. And then this one is the troubling guy. Well, the original idea was just plug this in here and then we'll drill a hole in the wall and just this wire will go into the wall. And that's a nice, clean, pretty safe connection. We'll drill two holes, well that would be like this. And we'll drill two holes here where these wires will come out and we'll go right into the wall. You can kind of see the, the uh, solar controllers are mounted in a similar way. And then their wires get right into the mm. wall pretty cleanly. So this would be good. The question is, is it long enough? And it might be. Imagine it coming in and going up 
going over and down and rounded and around, and it might actually be good enough to yeah. get us in there. We have a plan. Next thing is 